My hair is like a horse tail. But why is a horse tail like my hair? Oh, oh, I wish I had long flowing hair like that horse. Wow. No, no you don't. Trust me, you do not know how the horse got its tail. Oh, oh. Listen to me, dog. It's really crazy. Once upon a time, a princess with long beautiful golden hair was set to be married to a very handsome prince. They had never met each other prior to their engagement. Once they met each other, though, the princess soon realized he was not the one for her. The prince had a tail, which made her very afraid. His tail looked like a scorpion's tail with pincers. Why did he have a tail? Why didn't anyone seem to care that he had such a crazy, scary-looking tail? No one she had ever met, ever, had a tail. And she feared what she didn't understand. Not wanting to displease her family, she went ahead and married him anyway. The handsome prince was very generous and kind to the princess, making her breakfast every morning, picking her flowers, washing and brushing her long, beautiful hair. But still, she was always afraid of his tail. His tail was always bumping into things and knocking things over by accident. And the claws on the tail seemed to always be pincing together in a scary way. She didn't have the heart to ever admit it to him how much she hated his tail. But she too had grown fond of him and his kindness. As a result of her fear, she never allowed him to kiss her, even though they had been together for five years now. The prince remained patient and loving. One day, the prince accidentally knocked over the princess's shampoo bottle with his tail, and the bottle shattered all over the floor. The princess grew enraged. This was the last straw. The shampoo bottle traveled a long way and came from a very special shampoo mixologist in France and she would not be able to get another bottle for at least seven days. She lashed out at the prince, called his tail ugly, and told him that she could never love him. The prince was deeply hurt, and his tail grew larger and more grotesque. At the very tip of his tail grew a monster's head with huge, sharp teeth and claws growing from its cheeks that pinched together like a crab's claw. The princess screamed, but the prince was unable to control what his tail was doing because it had a mind of its own. The tail monster bit off the princess's face so that all that remained from her head was her long, beautiful hair. The prince cried in sorrow and unsheathed his sword and fought his tail to stop it. The tail and the prince fought in a hard battle until he finally sliced it off with one fell swoop and in turn killed himself as well. The princess sat there silent and faceless, no longer able to see, smell, hear, or speak. Word got out to the land what had happened, and the prince and the princess's parents came back to the castle to address matters. The prince's parents were heartbroken and held a grudge against the princess, blaming her for their son's death. The prince's mother was a magical sorceress, and the princess's parents pleaded with the prince's mother to help their daughter. 
She refused at first, but within her powers, she was only able to help her by hybridizing her with a dog. Once they found a dog, the sorceress mother fused the dog to the princess so that the princess, for the rest of her life, ran on four legs. The combo of dog and pretty girl looks a lot like what a horse looks like today. Her beautiful long hair remained as the horse's tail. Wow, what a story! Yes, I know! Quite a tale!